Andy Mogul. We've all got an opinion about who deserves an Oscar this year, but very few of us can actually do anything about it. Until now. Beyond the Trailer asked you to vote for who you think deserves to win the gold, and here's who you picked. Best Picture. And the audience gives the Oscar to Avatar. By a long shot. Despite having 10 nominees, this race wasn't even close, with Avatar capturing 32.9% of your vote. Glorious Bastards, The Hurt Locker, and District 9 seem to have also captured your attention, but the rest of the nominees barely registered. Looks like audiences are hungry for a sci-fi film to finally win in this category, so much so that in the write-in section, many of you felt that Duncan Jones' sci-fi indie Moon deserved a nomination. And if being David Bowie's son can't even get you an Oscar nomination, then I guess nepotism in Hollywood just ain't what it used to be, which would be a positive development if only Moon wasn't so damn good. Best Director and the audience gives the Oscar to James Cameron. Whoa, the people have spoken, and despite James Cameron being a giant <laughs> you still want to give him an Oscar. This would be Cameron's second best director Oscar after his win for Titanic, and hey, it's hard to argue that the man who directed the two biggest grossing movies of all time doesn't deserve golden bookends. Catherine Bigelow came close to capturing your hearts, but no cigar, while Quentin Tarantino also earned your respect. But Lee Daniels and Jason Reitman, to you it's clear this race was a three-person one. Best Actor, and the audience gives the Oscar to Jeff Bridges. This category was the closest one that came to an upset, but in the end, you agreed with popular opinion and gave the Oscar to Jeff Bridges. George Clooney came surprisingly close to beating him, though, especially since America's favorite bachelor has failed to excite Academy voters. But based on your write-ins, both these guys would have taken a backseat to Charlotte Copley from District 9 and Sam Rockwell from Moon had they been nominated. Those were two pretty amazing performances. If only those guys' distributors believed in them as much as you do. Best Actress. And the audience gives the Oscar to Sandra Bullock. Like Best Actor, this one was also kind of close. While you did give the Oscar to odds-on favorite Sandra Bullock, Meryl Streep came awfully close to besting her. Gabourey Sidibe also made a respectable showing, while many of you seemed eager to swap out either Carrie Mulligan or Helen Mirren for Zoe Saldana in Avatar. Yes, the Academy failed to recognize any of Avatar's cast with a nod, but if any actor was the heart and soul of that movie, it's Saldana. Was she snubbed because her performance was done via motion capture technology? And if so, will such a snub keep actors from wanting to don said electrodes in the future? Best Supporting Actor. And the audience gives the Oscar to Christoph Waltz. Ouch to everyone else in this category. Christoph Waltz dominated with you, so it's hard to imagine why such a popular actor only has one movie on the horizon, playing the villain in Seth Rogen's questionable bid to relaunch The Green Hornet, a role that uh, Nicolas Cage turned down. Hollywood, we clearly love Christoph Waltz. Give him something good. Another popular actor being sidelined by Hollywood, Jackie Earl Haley, who many of you think deserved a nod for Watchmen. Best Supporting Actress. And the audience gives the Oscar to Monique. While she didn't slam dunk in this category quite like Waltz did with his, Monique was certainly your favorite. So interestingly, based on your votes here, you seem to think that the right people are winning this year. Do you think it will go down this way on Oscar night, or are we in for some surprises? And do you agree with our write-ins? Comment down below and be sure to check back on March 7th after the Academy Awards for a special Oscars edition of Movie Math which finally returns after its hiatus. Oh yes, and who won that free Blu-ray player? Trip the One. Congrats, and I hope that all of you enjoy the 82nd Academy Awards. I'm Grace Randolph, and you've just gone Beyond the Oscars. And be sure to check out all of Beyond the Trailer's 2010 Oscar coverage. We've got episodes covering Best Picture, Best Actor, Best Actress, Best Supporting Actor, Best Supporting Actress, and Best Director. Just click to watch.